What are your feelings on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle? Do you guys care <laughs> or not care? No, you know what? I wish I could say I don't care, but I just can't stand them. I cannot stand them. Mm-hmm. She, do you know what? When she first came over, I thought she was beautiful. I was so excited. And I think that's reflective of a lot of English people, right? That they were so happy to see somebody that was a little different, you know, mm-hmm. olive skin, dark hair, um, gorgeous. Cause she is beautiful until you kind of get, get to know her. Get to know her. <laughs> you hear her talk. And, yeah. And, like, and yeah. then when this whole thing came out that they were going to move away for privacy or they wanted out the public like, because the, the British people were racist and all of this, I was like, hold on a minute, you're going to go to LA or you're going to Canada via Canada. No one goes to Los Angeles or California for privacy. Like, no, it's like move I, to Montana, like move to the sticks, move to middle America. Yeah. Don't go to LA. And they're going to all these posh, uh, like nightclubs, all these private clubs, like very elite level, uh, places yeah. basically. So and they were yeah. preaching to the British public about what we should do and how we shouldn't use so much, we shouldn't fly so much, or we shouldn't use so much gas, or we should be more green. Yeah, Yet you first. Jump <laughs> yeah. In their private jets. And people were like, shut up, hypocrites. Like, mm-hmm. you're such hypocrites. Um, and then it was the whole thing when they were leaving. They first of all, no one really cared that much everyone was excited about the wedding like she must have been obsessed reading all the negative press about her she must have just sat there with the papers reading any little snippet and holding it onto her and then she was like so desperate to change everybody's mind and then the next thing they're like right let's go away because we want privacy and I'm like that's not gonna happen I know what's happened here she thought marrying a prince would be this glamorous life and she'd be a princess and she's never going to be a princess. She'll always be a duchess. And then you have duties and you have to do kind of boring things. I wouldn't want to do them. You go well, like, and the world, what does she have to do? So I... her duties would have been like, I don't know. They, she'd have to go to a factory up North in a part of the country that wasn't that nice. And she is meant to listen to people. So she thinks she's like Diana. She's, the complete opposite of Diana. Diana listened to people. She just wants to speak to people. But you know what? They're not there to listen to you, Megan. You go to the factory and you have to listen to them and hear about their daily life and ask them questions. It's not like you, you, you. And I think that she thought it was going to be like red carpet and glamour oh, wow. this and a bit like the Kardashians. Because she's an actress. She's like in LA. She, yeah, she was doing suits. She was like the the freaking suitcase chick. I forget the name of that show. Oh, yeah. deal or no deal. Yeah. Oh, and then she comes out. See, this is the thing with her. And then she comes out and just says how awful it was and how she was objectified. Oh, sure. And this, <laughs> I remember when I was in LA, I was like, oh my God, it's like the dream job. It's just so easy. You just sit there. Yeah. And you of money a lot of us would it. love to be objectified, Megan. Okay. So <laughs> you're very lucky. And it's like, you know, you know, your career <laughs> is due in large part to your looks and like while it's all happening for you she wasn't complaining but now it's like after the fact it's it's so lame yeah no it's so lame so when they go over there it's like everyone would have respected them more if they just said listen you know royal duties aren't for me we're going to go and build our own life people might have felt differently but the whole thing about turning it into the british public of so against us so we have to go and live you know move here for mm. privacy it's just like and then the book everything the sellout the whole of it is just a complete embarrassment so i i love the south the south park cartoon they the did. privacy tour yeah i did not read prince harry's book uh Mm-mm. no, I'm no. There. it's like okay well it could be worse prince harry like you could be you could be poor okay can you imagine though like having that level of like I don't even know what it is to be ungratefulness. Like, so, yeah. Yeah. To be so privileged yet go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and relate to people by moaning about how bad my life is. And it's very American. Like that's, it's totally Megan's influence. Like I'm rich and privileged. Oh, but I'm still like, I'm, st- 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 I'm still oh, racism. Like, Oh, my life is still so hard. It's like, okay. 
they want it and the all. example that was the worst thing the example they used for racism as well like oh they asked you know what her what skin tone the baby would be like this is so that's stupid. Yeah. My mom's from the Philippines. Some and- questions that people like, people don't know what to say. They're like, ah, oh, your baby, yeah, like a baby, you know. <laughs> My mom's from the Philippines, and I promise you, they were all saying what what are her eyes going to be like? What shape eyes will be? Will she be light like my dad? Will she be dark like you know me, her mom? Or right, that's normal. You know, and then when my niece was born, it was the same thing. I was like, oh my God, is she going to look more like my sister? Is she going to be like Olive? Is she going to, what is she going to be like? Is she going to have eyebrows like her dad or a little bold patch? <laughs> you know, it's like, mm-hmm. yeah. That's normal questions that people ask, but because they're asking it of her, like, oh, it's racism because Meghan Markle's half black or whatever. So the baby's like going to be just a quarter black, which is barely yeah. enough to notice, really. It's just, they're making a big fuss out of nothing. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. I think it's funny that they come here expecting, like, and now they're being snubbed by Hollywood, which I love. Um, Hollywood is tired of their lack of decorum. Ooh, Ooh. see, in this country, we we stopped caring even about our own celebrities, so we're not going to care about somebody else's celebrities. It's hard. I think the time for, like, I don't know, the time for royal, I think, fuss peaked in this country, I think, in, like, the early 2000s. And then just it's the, something about the pandemic and COVID, like, people are mm-hmm. over celebrities generally. Yeah. Because it was celebrities trying to tell us what to do and celebrities mm-hmm. trying to say to everybody from their big homes, we're all in this together. Hey. Oh. hey. <laughs> and like, you're like, why did you have to film this from your home? Like, now I get to see how you live. Like, why couldn't you film this from a McDonald's drive through like the rest of us are doing? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, just to say, you look at your big pool there and you're like, you're, your mansion. And that's just the same as living in a high rise with like three kids. Yeah, it was bad. I was like, so wow. what's the lack of decorum? Um, Let's see. I think this, I wonder if this has to do with their, the, the club that they went to. Okay. America's enthusiasm for the Dutch and Duchess, Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been put under. That's interesting what you said though, by the way, that it was, she actually, her duties were, were to go to factories and just like basically deal with blue collar workers. Mm-hmm. And she just was like, ugh, no, <laughs> she did not want to be among the unwashed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, she didn't want to do all of that. She wanted the glamour and yeah. I do think that Harry and Meghan expected more support from Hollywood than they have recently received. Oh, God, get over yourselves. Recent months have seen the release of the Netflix docuseries. Yeah, they thought the Oprah interview was going to blow them up. The Netflix docuseries, the book, and everyone's like, are you done? Are you finished? <laughs> I know, and that's the thing. It's like they they keep on clambering for it, and they're like, look, if I just do this, it's going to show you that I'm a really good person, and I have real hard battles. Me, me, me. They're trying <laughs> to be like American celebrities, they're, and she's just trying to make it happen, and it's not happening, I don't think. I mean, like, they're... They're not broke, but I think they're just expecting to be like VIPs everywhere they go uh, and just have endless opportunities. I think Harry and Meghan has had an amazing opportunity to elevate themselves and actually be Hollywood royalty, but their decorum is making people think twice about the association. Ooh, what are they doing? Okay, the couple thought they would be welcomed by Hollywood, um, but Harry's claims about the royal family have stopped this from happening. Harry and Meghan did not receive an invite to the 2023 BAFTA events with claims that they were not welcomed at the 2023 BAFTA. Mm-hmm. That's basically what, like, British Emmys um, Tea Part hosted in Los Angeles last month. However, the Prince and Princess of Wales were in attendance oh. at the main event in London with royal fans thrilled to see the couple on the red carpet. Harry and Meghan, however are allegedly receiving fewer invitations to glamorous events, probably because they're like too much drama and too much, too much problems right now. Yeah. Uh, They they, complain. And I think they kind of, everyone's probably like, Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want them to know my secrets because that might be the next book. They'll blast it out. Yeah. They They got big mouths, both of them. Yeah. Harry and Meghan, uh, however, are they're receiving fewer invitations as A-listers fear they will become the focus of attention. Oh, snap. <laughs> Not on the privacy tour. 
Interesting. Very wow, funny. they're always in like black and white. I wonder if that's her idea. The couple who were previously hugely popular in the U.S. sunk in the polls after Prince Harry launched a fresh attack on the royal family and revealed, I think because America too, they see how privileged they are. It's like, yeah, like don't shit on your family. Like you're so lucky to be born into this family and to appreciate it. I mean, that's the thing. If you look at the Kardashians, right, with the biggest reality show brand ever, I think, I mean, I don't watch it, but it seems like they're very tight in their family. And that's yeah. the one thing I think what I've heard of is that people like is that they like will do anything for each other and their family's so tight. So it's like kind of, it's the opposite when you're just like, shitting all over your family constantly and then you're moaning about poor me with everything Mm -hmm. going on in the world right now and you know the price of gas everywhere everyone's bills like trying to eat trying to recover after like being locked away for years to hear these people complain about their lives I think it makes everyone want to vomit Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, we're not getting the right amount of attention or the right kind of attention. Like, we want to be famous uh, and rich, but not like <laughs> they want to be shielded from all criticism. Uh, the couple who were previously hugely popular in the U.S. sunk in the polls. Wow. Who's doing polls about them? After Prince Harry launched a uh, fresh attack on the royal family and revealed a range of intimate details. Yeah, this is exactly your point. Like, they're just going to blab everything they hear. Uh, revealed a range of intimate details, such as how he lost his virginity to Sasha Walpole. Who's Sasha Walpole? What a horrible name. (laughs) Well, he was like, he was really secret about it, but she actually sold the story on him because he spoke about it, spoke about it in the field. So uh, yeah, apparently they had sex in a field. And then he says, she rode me like a stallion and she was... (laughs) Like, oh, oh my god, no. this is so like cringe. And then I think she got really embarrassed. And then I think the papers went on a mission to find out who she was. It found they found out it was her. So she was like, Well, you know what? You sold your whole thing on me. I'm just gonna sell it on you now. Or maybe she didn't get paid, but she gave her side of the story. Oh so god. this is who ha- Prince Harry lost his virginity to. Okay, okay. So, you know, it was years back. Just but I think the only lady. reason, yeah, the only reason I think she said anything is because he decided to yeah. discuss it uh, in his book. Yeah, I always wonder if the guy who took my virginity will do a tell all. <laughs> he, he was a roadie from Rusted Root. Which is a band, a college band. Okay, uh, prior to publication, Harry had a favorable rating of point thirty eight. That plunged uh, by negative seven by January 16th. The lack of welcome from Hollywood industry was further pushed <laughs> by the Sussex in- inclusion into the ser- satirical cartoon South Park. I don't know if I play a snippet, snippet. It's so great. It looks just like them. Uh, it's so brilliant. You know what? I really want the merch from that. It was a friend yes. of mine's birthday, and uh, I was like looking everywhere for like worldwide privacy tour merch, but I think it's like too <laughs> soon. But I want a mug or something. <sighs> It's got to be out there. Uh, Okay, let's see. Last month, an episode depicting the Prince and Princess of Canada, a young royal couple who loudly begged for privacy while drawing attention to themselves, aired the redheaded prince and his wife, who wears the exact same dusty pink outfit that Meghan donned for the Trooping the Color trooping the color in 2018 are seen promoting the prince's book when (laughs) the cover which strongly resembles Harry's memoir, Spare. The episode is filled with swipes at the Sussexes with main character Stan branding their cartoon equivalents with the dumb prince and his stupid wife while Kyle complains about the private jet parked outside their home. This is great. What they're not saying, what they're saying is these two are not sincere people. They say they want their privacy while going on every television show, writing books, doing six hours of Netflix. They broke it down and said they're not very likable. People are tired of them. TV presenter uh, Nick uh, Edie, who claimed to have a friendship with the Duchess of Sussex 41 before she met Harry, claimed that the couple did not realize they wouldn't be accepted as Hollywood royalty when they moved to California. They're kind of quite far down, really, in that pecking order. And I think that uh, that's been an issue with them in that sense of stepping. Man, they really screwed themselves because didn't weren't they getting kicked out of 
basically their uh their royal residence. I guess they still have a home over there and they're getting kicked out of that too. Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, I think they're giving it to Prince Andrew. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I think oh, it's, that, it's all like it's such a mess it's such a mess i think well, the I think thing like, is is that sorry. you forget that in hollywood royalty isn't somebody with a title it's j-lo it's sharon stone it's beyonce it's the kardashians that's their royalty wow yep they really stepped in i mean you know when you think of hollywood royalty those people well i'm not saying the kardashians but you know the the movie stars and the singers they actually have talent so like you know what are these guys are she marries a prince and it's like you suddenly want to be hollywood royalty come on <laughs> like yeah. it's delusional love you guys thank you for the chats thank you for the comments i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye all right love you guys God, i don't even want to leave this candle smells so good i don't want to leave all right love you guys talk to you soon bye love you all join the discord feet love you all wow you guys are awesome don't you get it bye guys bye now i'm really leaving love you bye